Hello, welcome to Race Toolbox. Today, I'm going to make a lid for a crock pot. I started by measuring how wide the lid is, or the opening, and made my lid two inches uh, larger than the opening. I used one by sixes to make my top out of. I glued them up and uh, put them in clamps, let them set overnight. The next day, after everything was dry, I took a putty knife and scraped off all the dried glue that was on the back of them. To find how big I wanted to cut it, I laid the board on top, uh, took a pencil and traced around the outside of the crock pot. Uh, I didn't want to angle the pencil in, just straight up and down so I was sure the top was going to be big enough. I took a quick measurement of the inside of the uh, crock pot because I wanted to make some uh, pieces on the bottom of the lid to keep it from sliding off. I had some leftover car siding from a previous project so I cut the grooves off of it and it was just the perfect size for what I needed. After I marked the inside arc onto my scrap pieces, uh, I cut them out on the bandsaw. Next I took the top and cut the circle out on the bandsaw. Next it was time to sand everything down. Uh, some of the glue spots uh, took a little more extra time to sand them down. Uh, some people like to scrape the glue off ahead of time when it's still wet. It's just not a bad idea. I didn't do it that way. After sanding, it was time to round the edges uh, on the router. The pieces I made to keep the lid from sliding off, I glued to the bottom uh, for the glue to set up, for them to stay in place. I did staple them in place so they wouldn't move on me. Before I stained everything, it was time to sand the edges. Uh, when they go through the router, sometimes it leaves kind of a rough edge. So take a little bit of time and took care of that part. I stained the top and the bottom. Uh, both sides with golden oak. Of course, after you put the stain on, we need to wipe it off and make sure we get all the spots. After it was all stained, I set them up on some little triangles, let the air circulate so it can dry well. I used a clear spray finish for this project. It worked pretty good. The next day it was time to put the lid where it belongs. Uh, the tabs kept the lid from sliding off. It fit really nice. After it was made, I took the time and added a handle on top of it. We thought it looked a lot better after that. Thanks for watching our video. Maybe you got an idea for a project of your own. Take the time to subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate your, your watching. Thank you. See you next time.